Hey guys, it's Davin here from Brewbits.com. Now, I recently posted some pictures uh, about uh, doing a turbo cider for our window display in the shop at Beercraft. And since then, I've been getting quite a few emails and questions about how it's done. So, quite easy, I thought we'd show you. What have we got? Well, we need some cider yeast. We need some apple juice, and in this case, I'm just using the cheapest uh, apple juice I could find from a supermarket just around the corner. We won't mention any names, but there are other supermarkets available with other apple juice. Um, we do need to sterilize everything. Back to me a little bit, James. So here I'm just using a tub of general sterilizer, and then we'll also need a demijohn. So if you've got a glass demijohn, fantastic. If not, and we've got some fantastic little cheap plastic ones and you can order those off our website. Uh, to make life easier as well, I tend to use a funnel and that other thing you saw on top of that demijohn, which is what I'm going to be using here, is a bubbler or an airlock. So all we simply do, it's going to be tempting to put all five litres of the apple juice in. Ooh. But we're actually going to be using four and a half litres because this creates a very, very um, vigorous fermentation. And if we used all five litres, it would overfill the demijohn and it could also burst out that stuff. So you can see, I'm not really doing anything else. It is really, honestly, as quick and easy as this. Now what I'm going to do right now, although I've got my cider in there now, I'm going to chop the top of my cider yeast off, and that's going into the top of my funnel. Simple as that. You can see it all in the bottom. There we go for the next one. And now just make sure you wash it down in through your funnel, and it's all in, ready going. That's three litres. See, it really is as easy as that. That's four. And I'm going to stop there about four and a half. So, back to me then, James. Because all I'm going to do now is literally stick my airlock in. And then that is now going to go and sit somewhere nice and warm uh, for about five to seven days. And you'll watch it uh, become really, really murky. Loads and loads of bubbles will start coming through. And after about seven days, all the bubbles through the bubbler will stop. And then you've got cider. If you really want to, you can drink it there and then if you really want the hard stuff. Um, I prefer to leave it a, a couple of weeks and let it start to clear and settle. And then you can either bottle it or decant it into a better vessel and take it off the sediment and drink it. Turbo cider is as easy as that. It takes a few weeks to ferment and then leave it for a little bit longer and you'll notice it goes nice and clear. So you can see my hand wiggling behind it. And basically, now it's ready to siphon off and bottle. Enjoy.